Why did you entitle the uh, the album Nevermind? I don't know. So I could brush off the question. Forget yeah. it. Never, Doesn't never matter. Mind. Found it hard. It's hard. Do you feel that radios may may help you? Do you feel that the the, the music might uh, fit that mainstream thing everybody's talking about? I think well, that people sort of get sucked into the, to the single that we have out now with the melody of the song and they don't realize it's so heavy because they're singing along to the song or whatever but if you listen to it in the succession of songs it's a lot heavier than most of the stuff that's on the radio Tell me about uh, that Teen Spirit song, uh, since it's the first video, first single. Did you have anything to do in uh, elaborating it, doing it? I thought of the whole idea. It was just, uh, our idea was to have a, um, a pep assembly scene that's gone bad. You know? It's gone bad. Yeah. Anything you've experienced before? No, it was just more or less like a fantasy of ours to, for that to happen in high school while we're sitting at a pep assembly board off our skulls, you know. So after a while we resorted to... Um, Skipping the pep assembly is not going to them at all, but I don't know. It's just an idea. What about Teen Spirit? Well, I hate seeing all these just normal-looking teenagers. They dress like their parents, you know, and they have the same values. So it's like it's kind yeah, of shame. Our, our parents are in control of the entertainment industry and there's no generation gap anymore because the kids and the parents like the same music and it's really it's really frightening to us so uh, maybe that's maybe that's what we tried to incorporate into the video we were never seeking out a major label contract in the first place it just happened I don't know if it would have happened if we weren't on sub pop or not but um, I don't know. It's just we got a lot of press in in Europe because of the sub pop scene, and it wasn't necessarily because John and Bruce were these mastermind guys, you know, getting a lot of interviews, like using their talents to get interviews. I mean, they were in, in ways, but also the, a lot of the journalists over in Europe happened to like the band, sincerely like them, so they wrote about them. You know, it, it wasn't as much of a hype as everyone thinks it was. Tell me about that, uh, that, that, no, that, that Seattle, that Seattle thing everybody's been talking about. I mean, there's been that Manchester scene, there's that Seattle scene now. I mean, is it any, is it, is it relevant at all? Um, all scenes are relevant, but they all eventually phase into nothing or, you know, they, they go, go away after or they a while, eventually you know? become a parody of themselves or, yeah i mean they eventually become people, a parody of themselves people put too much emphasis on scenes i mean just because there happens to be a, a town with a few really good bands in it i mean big deal it, it's happened all over the place in minneapolis and l.a and new york all over the place so it's, it's really no big deal i don't understand this like community patriotism that everyone is is boasting about in seattle because like they're claiming that they finally put seattle on the map you know but like What map? Now the rents are going up. Yeah, everyone's moving to Seattle. I mean, we had Jimi Hendrix. Heck, what more do we want?